All right guys, so in WordPress, it's pretty easy to create page jumps or anchor links where you click a link and get moved down further or up in a page. But if you don't wanna read this long page on wordpress.com on how to do it or check out the WordPress codex and you just wanna see exactly how it works, then this is the perfect video for you. So open up a new WordPress post or page. I'm gonna go with a page, just assuming that you wanna make some evergreen content like an ultimate guide page. So we'll obviously have a title. And then the fun starts with the link. All right, so how do you write out the link that someone will click that will take them down a page? Well, we can go to the text tab and see how that will look. It'll just look like open alligator a href equals. And then in the quotation marks, you want to put hashtag and then some word which will be your ID. Your ID should explain the section that someone's going to get to when they click and go down to it. So I usually like using words that describe Part of the post like maybe they'll read more in depth once you close the quotes you can close alligator brackets and just write in some anchor text then close off that anchor text and you're good to go the second step in creating our anchor link is giving this link a target so where is it going to take people on our page well that target could look like a header like a h1 or a h2 whatever you want really in our case let's try an h2 so let's do the open alligator brackets just like wordpress would make for us if we chose paragraph header Let's write h2 and now let's assign the id equals quotation marks in depth. Close quotes and then close the alligator brackets. Next we just need some header text to describe this section and this won't be clickable. And then we'll close off that header too. Now that our anchor link is set up we'll just add some text. And we'll publish the post and we'll test it out. All right, let's view page. And now let's try clicking on our link and it'll take us right down to the explanation itself. However, ideally you want the anchor destination to load at the very top of the screen. So let's add a little more text beneath that anchor destination. And update. And now with more text in there, we can see that when we click on the link, that anchor destination will load right at the top of the page. It might look a little funny with the WordPress toolbar there, but when you're on a non-logged in page, that'll just load right at the top like so. You might find it confusing how your links now load with a hashtag in depth or whatever your idea is on the end of them, but most people don't notice that and you can remove that just by clicking anywhere else on the site and you'll get a more normal looking link. So that's the basic mechanics behind an anchor link, AKA page jump. To recap, basically the ahref says that whatever anchor text is going to be written here is going to be a link. That link is going to go down to a hashtag, meaning it's going to look for an ID. And then whatever words you write after the hashtag just have to match whatever you write in the ID equals quotation marks. This does not need to be a header two. It could be a lot of other sorts of tags within WordPress that will work within WordPress. Just remember that the link part of your anchor link has to be the ahref, that's the clickable part, and it has to include the hashtag or the pound symbol, if that's what you call it. And then the destination has to include the ID equals, and then the ID itself without the hashtag or the pound symbol. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. You can also make these anchor links jump to different sections on different pages. To do that, just put the full link to the other page in the ahref quotation marks, and then after that, put your hashtag ID. You can also have a little bit of fun with your anchor links if you install the Elementor page builder that gives you this smooth scroll feature without adding any sorts of complicated jQuery or JavaScript plugins. You can just go to plugins, add new, and even though Elementor is a plugin, it's a lot smoother than most plugins I've tried for the specific feature of having a smooth scroll. So let's just search for Elementor over here. Make sure to install and activate it. And now you can go to new page again. Maybe we'll make this another ultimate guide. And to get Elementor working, just choose the page attributes template of Elementor full width and publish it. Okay, now let's click edit with Elementor. Let's get ourselves a free Elementor template. So click on the folder icon. We're gonna choose landing page and we're gonna click and insert it. And now the basics behind how to create a smooth scroll anchor link in WordPress is just click on a button, for example, book a room. Now make sure you're in the content section and where it says link, just keep that hashtag in there and write in an ID that you can choose. And that ID can be anything, ideally something short, but explanatory. And of course, unique to this particular button. 
All right, now we can scroll down to where we want this button to take our visitor, aka the destination. Right here we have the best experience ever, and of course we want people to get to this entire section. So let's click on the outer section settings, which is the six dots. Now we're gonna make sure we're in the advanced tab and in CSS ID, just write in the ID you chose without the hashtag sign. And now let's just update. All right, let's see what we made. Let's click on the hamburger and let's click view page. And now we should have a button with a smooth scroll down to the best experience ever. All right, so that's just two ways to create a custom anchor link or jump link, or maybe you call it a page jump or whatever you call it in WordPress. I hope that helps you. And of course, you can use Elementor just to create specific pages on your website. It's not like some developers and designers think where when you install Elementor, it changes your whole site. You can be selective and just create individual pages with these awesome features to meet your goals. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit like if you learned anything here and comment with any questions. I try to get back to everyone the same day. I'm Greg Nunayan. I'll talk to you soon.